We now turn to the last limitation on the recovery of contract damages that we will consider, reasonable certainty. Reasonable certainty is generally viewed as a limitation on expectation damages. It grows out of the basic principles related to the burden of proof in a civil case, the requirement that a plaintiff prove each element of a claim for relief by a preponderance of the evidence. This burden applies with equal force to a plaintiff's proving damages. The plaintiff must prove to the fact finder not only that she was damaged as a result of the defendant's breach of contract, she must also prove the extent of those damages, giving the fact finder a basis for determining the amount of her loss. The requirement that the injured party establish the fact of damages and the amount of those damages with reasonable certainty is set forth in section 352 of the Restatement Second of Contracts. In general, once a party establishes that it was damages by the defendant's breach of contract, courts favor the injured party by doing its best to come up with a figure for the amount of damages. The law does not require that the injured party prove the amount of damages with mathematical certainty. This is made clear in Comment A to Section 352. Appellate courts tend to uphold jury awards of contract damages where the evidence was sufficient to enable the fact finder to make a fair and reasonable estimate of the injured party's loss. An interesting example of a court's not requiring mathematical certainty with respect to proving damages arose in Bolia versus World Championship Wrestling. In that case, the wrestler known as Hulk Hogan sued his former employer for breach of its contractual obligation to make him a featured wrestler at a major wrestling event. Hulk Hogan sought damages for diminished future earnings. In other words, for his loss of future profits. In defending, the wrestling promoter argued that the wrestler's damage claim was too vague and speculative. The court disagreed. It determined that based on his long history of past earnings, Hulk Hogan's evidence was sufficient to enable a jury to calculate the amount of damages with reasonable certainty. On the other hand, not every plaintiff is as successful as Hulk Hogan in attempting to prove lost profit with reasonable certainty. In Chicago Coliseum Club v. Dempsey, the plaintiff boxing promoter brought an action against the famous boxer, Jack Dempsey, for failing to fulfill his contractual obligation to engage in a scheduled boxing match. Though the court found that Dempsey breached the contract, the court refused to award expectation damages for lost profits of $1,600,000 because they could not be established with reasonable certainty. The court stated, The profits from a boxing contest of this character, open to the public, is dependent upon so many different circumstances that they are not susceptible of definite legal determination. The success or failure of such an undertaking depends largely upon the ability of the promoters, the reputation of the contestants, and the conditions of the weather at and prior to the holding of the contest. The accessibility of the place, the extent of the publicity, the possibility of other encounter attractions, and many other questions which would enter, the, enter into consideration. Such an entertainment lacks utterly the element of stability which exists in regular organized business. The requirement of reasonable certainty can cause great problems when a plaintiff is seeking damages related to lost future profits from a new business. Unlike the Hulk Hogan case, when profits from a new business are an issue, there exists no past track record on which a court can base a determination of future damages. Nonetheless, if a new business owner has undertaken market studies prior to opening the business and can present evidence of income and expense projections, courts are more open to making a finding that lost future profits can be determined with reasonable certainty. If an injured party cannot prove expectation damages with reasonable certainty because a court concludes that they are too speculative, the disappointed plaintiff is relegated to seeking out-of-pocket reliance damages or restitution damages, generally in an amount far less than expectation damages. Nonetheless, even in such cases, reliance or restitution damages must also be determined with reasonable certainty, though this is often easier as a matter of evidence.